Often people produce content for a channel, for a book, for a YouTube, for a Facebook, but they don't realize they can repurpose it, right? I think Jasper is the ultimate repurposing tool. So what we did was we took all his videos <clears throat> and we transcribed them. Now I happen to use Descript, which is like a Swiss army knife of editing video without having to edit, edit videos. And you can see for each of these, we looked at the word count and we saw who, if he was interviewing somebody else, who was that person? And you can see like all these videos are in here, right? And we're repurposing these into blog posts. Some of them have not been turned into a blog post yet. So that, that's why this is empty. The cool thing, let's say Caleb interviews Mariah Wood or Justin Donald or Brandon Green or insert your name, interviews Darby Rollins. I think he should interview you. When you put it on a site that has a fair amount of power, we're going to rank on their name. And when you rank on someone's name and then you share that in a Facebook or a Twitter or whatnot, you get extra power. Or you could use frame.io or rev.com or whatever your favorite tool is to grab the words off of it. But then when we grab all of that, this is perfect to then run it in the Jasper for content improvement. For See here, you can see like here, there's ums and ahs. That's mm -hmm. absolutely terrible. You'd never have that in written text, right? Mm -hmm. So I take this thing and I'd grab all the filler words and there's nine of them. And then I'd get rid of them, right? Then I would take this, run it through Jasper, run it. Th and then I could have Jasper write words. Have you seen this thing called overdub? I have, and it's pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> so this is something I'll probably get banned for saying this, <laughs> but I'll say it. You can take words that were generated from Jasper and then run it in here as part of overdub. How overdub people... works is you, you train it to speak like your voice or? Another... Yeah, so let's just say I did a video here. And so I'm recording. Hey guys, Darby and I, we love eating pork chops and hitting golf balls in Austin. What we like even more is using AI generated content to power our businesses. Not because we're trying to fake anybody, but because we wanna repurpose content so it can be seen in different channels because each of the algorithms has a different preference for how they wanna see content. But the trouble is most people who speak, they have lots of parts of their speech that have gaps and they have ums and ahs and they can't speak very clearly. So it's tough to turn it into an article. And here it is, the transcription, right? But to your point, I need to know who that is. So this speaker we can detect and we can say it's Dennis. But I can also say that in this case, oh, they got eight filler words. So look, I can remove all the filler words, see that, and boom, gone, right? And then instead of Darby, I can say that this is, who is it? Austin, and it'll replace that. And instead of eating pork chops, what's something you like to eat? Pizza. Pizza. But imagine I just had an, an overdub is the feature inside Descript that allows us to say words that we didn't say. But if I have Jasper write the words and insert, I wouldn't recommend having the paragraphs and paragraphs because then the, the AI voices, you can have different voice styles and things like that. But now look, I'm using this cool Pico Stream mic. It's my favorite mic. It's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, it's Austin and I, we love eating pizza and hitting golf balls in Austin. So this is one of those things where do you want to use the AI? You can use the AI to write words, but imagine combining the AI that writes the words with the video and the audio. I think that's the next world. That's the next piece because then we can generate TikToks from it. We can generate here. I'll show you one that I just saw. My buddy Shep was showing this to me this morning, we're in this mastermind. This is not actually Shep, but what he did was he wrote the script. So he could use a Jasper to write the script and then pump it through, in this case, what's called a virtual avatar. Now, this is not only for speakers and authors and coaches, it's for anybody. Let's say you have an agency, you have 10 clients, and you don't want to record 10 different reports each month. You could have a base template where it learns your voice and then have something like this. Hi, this is Chef Hyken. Okay, it's not really me. He looks like me, he sounds like me, but he's not really me. He's here to represent me when I'm not able to get into a studio 
yet have an important message to send out. Here's an example of an important message. Customer service is not a department. It's a philosophy to be embraced by every member of an organization, from the CEO to the most recently employed. That, by the way, is one of my favorite sayings and one of the most important points that I make in my speaking presentations and customer service workshops. What do you think? What do you think, Darby? That was pretty believable. If there <laughs>